This coronavirus, even for the healthiest among us, is really turning our lives topsy-turvy. Canceled plans, WFH, work from home, and social distancing. It seems that everything has been turned into a virtual meeting these days. And with virtual meetings comes a whole host of problems. Now we have Debbie, who's dominating the call. We have Monty, who's multitasking and distracted. And we have Tyler, tuned out and twiddling his thumbs. But virtual meetings don't have to be that bad. To make your virtual meetings a bit more valuable, first, make video mandatory. No optional phone, no optional video. Everyone needs to show up present and engage on video. And to make people more comfortable with video, you can also institute a come as you are policy for everyone who's working from home in their sweats. This way they'll feel comfortable and in good company. Next, start every virtual video meeting with some kind of individual check-in or icebreaker. That way, Everyone is active and connected from the get-go. One icebreaker I heard of recently uh, is asking everyone, what is the wackiest thing that's happened to you since the virus hit? And finally, once you and your team are comfortable using video for your virtual meetings, then you can start using all the cool video conferencing features. Like you can put small groups in chat rooms to brainstorm and then bring them back to the main meeting. You can use the chat function to have everyone propose a question or challenge to the speaker. And you can use real-time feedback tools to get feedback during the meeting. So stop thinking of your virtual meetings as the next best thing to being there. Your video meetings can be as good as your in-person meetings, maybe even better. So for now, have a blast and stay healthy.